Hey guys, D Mike here from the episode of Pikmin 3 Deluxe. Hopefully everybody is doing well. If you're here in the States, hopefully you had a good Labor Day. Depending upon when this goes up, should be after that. So we've got uh, some more progress to do. We finally reunited Alf and Brittany 2.0. So that's very good. If you've been enjoying this series, please continue to like, watch the videos, subscribe if you haven't, throw in some comments if you'd like. I'd love to read all of those and Keep enjoying yourself, so let's get started. So once again, it seems like Yellow Pikmin have saved the day. They helped out Charlie. And now Brittany. I wonder what kind of party Yellow Pikmin would like. Probably something a little electric. So we're going to head back to the distant tundra. We're going to be here for a little bit, probably at least the next two or three episodes. There's a lot to do in this area. It's pretty big. There's a lot of fruit. A lot more to do. The last episode we did achieve quite a bit. However, we still have a lot left to do. So we're going to go ahead and split up about one third a piece for all of the Pikmin. We'll do one more yellow. Yellows do have kind of the edge in usefulness, spe specifically in this episode. Now, one of the things that is going to be a minor annoyance that you'll see here today is all of the enemies that we dealt with so far in this area have respawned. So just be mindful of that. The strange looking long haired shaggy shock dogs. I don't know what those are called. Swamp rats, something like that. That's I think that's something from Star Wars. Those have all come back. So just be mindful of that. You're going to have to deal with some shenanigans with those guys. Be prepared. But the one nice thing about our situation today is this bridge is complete. So we can do a lot more do in part. So once again, these shocky guys are back. Make sure that you only use your yellow Pikmin on them. You'll have a little bit of trouble if you try to do anything else, so I would recommend not doing that unless you like to cause yourself a headache. I don't. I'm not a fan of migraines. But we've got some, some definite fruit collection today, which is very good. We're going to collect quite a bit in this episode, so you'll get to see that. Gonna collect a fruit, possibly two today, that some of you may have never seen in your entire lives. So, there's that. I barely know what it is. I only know what it is because I've seen it according to this Let's Play, but that's about it. And one of the other cool things in this episode that will benefit us in the very near future, more ultra spicy spray berries. So I'm actually gonna send the reds to take care of this because they're not super useful in this episode in terms of what we're going to want to do. I don't mean that in general. I mean, I'm always going to have a use for red Pikmin when it comes to taking care of business. But in general, I like to split them up based on what I think they could and could not accomplish. So here we go. First off, I don't know how many of you know what this is, but uh, yeah. This is certainly something. If you thought it was a plum, well, you're plum wrong. So sorry about that, everybody. Sorry about your luck. So the reds, at least some of them. We don't really need all of them to, to dilly-dally. Looks like they got the berries off the tree, but they are not wanting to carry them to the final resting place. Oh, I did not know that the berries disappear. So, okay. Guess we'll have to come back for that. That's a little... That's a little interesting. I wasn't sure that was a mechanic, but I guess it is. Also, to get up there as well, there is this climbing stick. So if you would prefer an alternative method of getting up there. Okay, so now we do have this. I'm wondering if there's something afoot with getting the berries down versus having them carry it. We'll try this again one more time. I would like them to take the berries to the the drake unless the way around is blocked 
Okay, I'm not sure why they're going up there. Oh, I see. They're using the climbing stick. Ah, uh, they're using the climbing stick to go up and down the slope to get back to the drake quicker. That's some ingenuity. All right, Pikmins. Well done. For using your little noggins. I, uh, I won't drown you today. How about that? What a reward. At D-Mike Industries, we reward good behavior by not drowning our constituents. So these guys are going to try to go back. It looks like we're collecting more of the berries, which is awesome. There was another fruit kind of in the semi-distance that you're going to be thinking like, hey, I should be able to go and get that, right? Well, unfortunately, not today. It's stopped up by a an aquatic little area that we're not going to be able to reach. So unfortunately, that's not going to happen in this episode. We'll come back for it later, of course, as we always do. So we'll worry about it then. So we've got another situation here where we've got more spicy spray berries. There's a bag up top. And then we got these jerks over here. So first things first, go ahead and grab whatever captain you're not using and huck them over the edge. Now you're not going to be able, I mean, you could do it this way, but I think that the easier of the two methods is just to send your Pikmin up the climbing pole stick thing here. They'll jump up there. Then we can quickly switch to our secondary captain and we can lock on to these guys, hopefully. Nope. <laughs> Everything is going horribly. Okay, well, that's the one thing about this situation here that I really dislike is the lock-on system in this game is not super intuitive. So you just gotta keep hucking your Pikmin to weigh these guys down. And then once you do get them down, you can inflict massive damage. You can attack their weak spot for a critical hit. Not really, but yeah, so that's that. Once again, those guys, the uh, throw your Pikmin in the ground, whatever's, um, pretty annoying, pretty annoying. And you'll just have to be careful. They can't do any damage to you, thankfully, though. So they can't kill your Pikmin, which is very considerate of them. So we don't want that, but we do want to collect this special item. All right, it's gonna trigger a little cutscene. Looks like a musical instrument of some sort. Some sort of a flute. A skin color. A skin flute, perhaps? So we're going to want to take this back to the drake. Now here's something interesting. About specific game-changing items. This is not a fruit, obviously. This is not a... A berry. It's not a pellet. So, your Pikmin when they have the chance to take a, an item like that, they will not return to the scene of the crime. Oh, we had just the right amount of yellows for that. That's amazing. They won't return. So you'll have to catch up with them at the Drake. That's just typically how that goes. Okay, these are called swooping snitch bugs. So you can hit it with a rock Pikmin or do it the way that I did it or whatever you want. You can literally do whatever you want. I apologize for the game having a bit of a spasm here. It's very excited about the fact that we have collected each grape individually. And it looks like our new item has been absorbed by the drake. That's great. So here's our new flute, little recorder. Let's give it a little analysis. The dodge whistle. Excellent. So there you go. All of these little upgrades are like real world items that somehow become manufactured into something neat to benefit. Helps your captains out. It's just kind of a cool little way to make you play a little better. It really helps. So when the time comes, we'll play with that. And all of our yellows have returned to get the grapes, but as you can see, they have not returned to the area where the dodge whistle was. And that's gonna be the case with pretty much anything. If Pikmin can carry at least one thing, 
in this case, a berry or a pellet, a piece of bridge, etc. All of those things, your Pikmin will return to that area, for better or for worse. So you can just let them hang out there. You can come back and get them. Whatever you're into, whatever kind of stuff suits your, your play style, fits your fancy. So that's good. So far, we've got two fruit. We're doing pretty excellente. But we're actually going to want to head back to the area where we first started. With Brittany. So, going back into that cave, we've got some more work to do. The Distant Tundra is actually a pretty big map that is subdivided in a bunch of sections that we can't get to 100% yet. I mean, that's kind of an obvious thing to, see, to say. You've seen that. But there is a way to progress a little bit further. One of the things that we had trouble with in the initial part is that we didn't have Rock Pikmin. Alf had the Rock Pikmin. So now we can get ourselves a nice, very furry treat. How about that? And there's another uh, red, yellow rock pellet if you're interested, if you need more. So far, so good. Now, this is a path you could take if you've got two captains in tow. I wouldn't. That's an optional area that you don't have to do. We will eventually. But in our current state, we're probably not super well equipped for that, so I would just recommend you didn't. However, if, you know, if that's what you're into. Also, here's that one red Pikmin that is just doing his darndest to bring us more delicious, ultra spicy spray. He's just bonking his little head. We'll let him acquire one last berry. I think it's very adorable how they just climb up the the climbing stick, make their way around. So I did a little peek around here. We're not going to be able to obviously do anything with this yet, but there is another lemon in that direction. We'll come back for that another day. Unfortunately, we do not have a likeness for the aquatic ambience of the distant tundra. So we will not be doing that today. But so far, We've got three delicious fruits. We're making some very good progress. We're going to keep moving along here. There will be some changes that happen before too long where this section of like the distant tundra kind of, you know, you kind of run out of things to do, I guess. We're going to snag this. Oh, they're still bringing the berries. Okay, so we'll let them do that. We'll let them bring the berries. We'll reclaim the remainder. We don't really need this many spicy sprays. But, hey, it doesn't hurt to, uh, to gather some stuff up. I also think it's really funny that the game has left you the, uh, the stem. That's very cute. Very well done. So there is some stuff over here. There is a red candy pot bud. So there's more to do in this area. All the stuff that's going to be happening is going to be over here. The thought process that you might have is that you'd be able to throw your captain to get to that area. It would be nice if we could do that. I don't know if it's possible. I don't feel like it is. I have tried, I believe, in past opportunities, and it hasn't really gone well for me. We'll try it here if we can. You would think that it would make sense because you've got a little spot here with, like, the leaf on the ground. It looks like it would make sense for you to be able to engage in this area to do that, but it is not possible. So we're going to cut off our Pikmin here as they approach the Drake. We don't really need any more of this. We have five of it. I guess we'll let it have one more just to get us up to six. That should do it. We'll call all of our Pikmin back. There's, an, there's another rock Pikmin. Okay. 
We'll use the Drake's callback function real quick. Get everybody back that isn't. So they should be able to come back in time. They're over there by the berries anyway. We know where they are. They're just hanging out having a heckin' good time. You know, you don't want to interrupt. Sometimes when people are having a good time, you don't want to get in their way. But yeah, there's another bag over there that eventually we'll be able to to deal with, which is which is good. That opens up another part of the tundra that we're obviously going to have to to work through. So we've got all but two of our Pikmin. It's very, very good. This is a lot of progress to be made, or that's been made. I shouldn't say to be made, it's been made today. We'll explore some of these other optional areas. We're going to want to see if we can do this real quick before the day ends. Oop. It's a little tough. I'm not sure if we can scale this cliff area with one of our captains. I might have to go up and around. That's the one thing that's kind of a bit of a bummer when you're trying to do this is like, there's a lot of areas where it looks like you can just make it, but you can't. It's kind of a bit of a butt. You're not gonna really be able to do that. A little disappointing. You'd think that you'd be able to, but the game is like, nah. I wouldn't want you to have too much fun. Let's go ahead and take a peek. There's our last two Pikmin. They made it back to the Drake and to the safety circle. That's very good. So we've got a little bit of time. We're just gonna explore our way around here and see if we can make it up there. Once you've got all your Pikmin, you know, and you've sent them all up the climbing stick. You know, you're essentially relatively safe. There's not really much that can happen to them. As long as you've got another captain to whistle them all together as a unit. The only problem is that you can't get your other captain with them. So I'm just going to throw one yellow and see what happens. Ah, okay. So let's just throw a bunch of yellows. Maybe we'll be able to grab whatever that giant juicy orange treat is. This is kind of a fun little circumstance. Now, obviously, you're going to want to use the yellows because everything else over in that area, you know, those shocking things will kill you. The shock dog things. All right. And they can't do any damage to our yellows. So that's strategy. Right? Pretty amazing. If I don't say so myself. So what that means is that we've essentially cleared out four fruit in one day. One of which is very strange looking that many of you probably don't know what it is. I'll explain. I've never had it. Would love to. That first one up there. I've had the other three. I think. Maybe. But yeah. You're not really able to do any combat up there at the moment because all of these cliffs are just a little bit too tall, which is a bit of a butt. But that's okay. I don't think I have any unflowered Pikmin. I think I thought I saw a couple of leaves in there, but maybe not. That's just something to be mindful of. If you ever have a spare moment, there's nectar eggs around. Take care of business. Flower your Pikmins. I think we have less yellows than everybody else, so we'll send however many left to pick up this corpse, as we do. Take that. The only dead bodies are the dead bodies of our enemies. That's right. Because we're tough guys now. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's four fruits. We unlocked a little bit more of the distant tundra. Got ourselves a new item. I think that's pretty good to uh, end the day. How about that? No Pikmin perished today. We were valiant in our efforts to murder elements of the local ecosystem as we do and to pillage their fruits for our own plunderance. That's a protect. That is a heckin' productive day. We're making some some waves here, ladies and gentlemen. 
I do really enjoy the taking off into orbit from the distant tundra with like the snowflake filter and everything looking very wintry. It's becoming fall where I'm at. And uh, before too long, it'll be winter. I know a lot of people hate winter, but I'm not too upset about it. So here we go. It treats both halves of that hairy fruit as individual pieces of a fruit, but it is, you know, lore-wise treated as a uh, just one. So this interesting creation, you might think is a plum. It is actually a mango steam. So go ahead and look that up if you haven't. Maybe try it if you'd like. The inside of them is kind of a light color. You'd expect it to maybe be dark, maybe like a purple. It's not. It's a light color. We have the Dawn Pustules, which we all know are green grapes. You can get yourself a nice delicious treat. Or maybe if you're an adult, have yourself some white wine. There's no tannins in that. And the Disguised Delicacy. I always remember as a kid, kiwi being a strange fruit that uh, I was always very hesitant to try because it's a little bit too fuzzy for me. So you get two halves of that, breaking up that rock crystal area inside the touchdown cave where Brittany was. Gave us both halves of that. And this, I'm not entirely sure what they're going with here, I believe that this could just be considered a tangerine, but there are so many different types of citrus fruits that look like oranges. So we'll just say this is a, is a tangerine for the sake of me not wanting to look it up. But you get quite a lot of fruit from this one. We started with seven, and we're already up to, uh, looks like almost 12 and a half. So we're making some waves here. Things are getting a little juicy. So when you collect at least 10 different types of fruit, you get the enhancement to the Copad radar to be able to locate fruit. Heck yes. So it'll pop up on your radar. Obviously they're not all cherries as this shows. It'll be what the actual fruit itself is. So there we go. Brittany is a little selfish, but that's okay. We've gone through the initial ration of fruit juices or whatever that juice was, that blue goo that we had. So all the stuff now is juice from the planet, the fruit that we've collected so far. So we did have a little bit of growth in our Pikmin. We were able to get some more yellows to almost even up the squad for a very productive day. And we're going to hear from Alf before we call it a do. So Alf, little did you know, is a poet laureate from Kopai. We're going to read his lyrics today. An ode to Captain Charlie. Oh, Captain Charlie, where could you be? Can you control your appetite? Will you teach me? For many years, I've seen you as a mentor. Oh, Captain Charlie, I really need to work on my rhyming. Signed, Elf. It was a good, it was a good attempt, Elf. You did your best. That's all we can ask for. And once again, the reward we get for a successful day is the save screen. So that's all for today, everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed yourselves. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you guys next time. I've been D-Mike. Have a good one, everybody. Bye.